the first thing we want to do is the time to maturity there. For bonds, this statistic is quite simple, let's say. Everybody of us probably knows what the time to maturity actually is. It's the time until the principal is basically paid back. The uh, average time to maturity is then calculated by using, as you see in this formula, by using the maturity, the time to maturity of each bond, multiplying it by the actual valuation. With bond, very important, you of course take the dirty price valuation, which means that accrued interest is also accounted for. And then you divide it by the sum of all valuations, and by this you can, yeah, you basically get the arithmetic average time to maturity. As I said, for portfolios uh, with plain, uh, with only plain vanilla bonds, this is uh, quite, yeah, it's it's a good measure for interest rate sensitivity. Of course, there are other more advanced sensitivity analytics, like for example duration. But we wanna, we, we do not wanna touch this complexity today. So we will stick with that. And the only problem there, or a very big problem there, actually, is that when it comes to more complex bonds. This statistic is quite misleading, and Mark, um, I think you brought us some or an example today uh, where you can show us that the average time to maturity of more complex bonds is not really applicable as a statistic in the market. Yes, absolutely. First, you just said we are not talking about duration today. I would like to add that all problems with regards to reporting that we are talking about today equally apply to other metrics such as duration, modified duration, and so on. So, yeah, which kind of ones uh, is the average maturity in calculating the average maturity? Not really meaningful. Well, there are many, many bonds outstanding, either perpetual bonds that have no maturity at all, or hybrid securities that do have a maturity, that both have early redemption options, so-called call dates. So mm -hmm. although a perpetual bond might have, a, a perpetual bond doesn't come with a, with a clear maturity, these bonds usually can be redeemed at a certain point in time. And, and the same is true for, for, for example, for, finan for, for debt of financial institutions, which usually have yeah, the option, the, the issuer usually has the option to redeem those bonds early.